Hello, this is Cello Caribbean. I'll be discussing Transitional Input VAT. Before going to the main topic, let us first define Input VAT. Input VAT refers to the VAT due or paid by a VAT registered person in importation or lower purchases of goods, properties, or services, including lease or use of properties in the course of his trade or business. There are six types of input VAT, which is your transitional input VAT, regular input VAT, amortization of deferred input VAT, presumptive standard input VAT, and input VAT carryover. What is transitional input VAT? It is a person who becomes liable to value-added tax, or any person who elects to be VAT registered person shall be given an initial input tax, credit equivalent to 2% of the beginning inventory of goods, materials, or supplies, or the actual VAT paid thereon, whichever is higher. Based on the definition given a while ago, we have to know that that goods exempt from VAT shall be excluded in the computation of the transitional input VAT, and that the beginning inventory is the basis for the transitional input tax of 2% regardless the purchase was made from VAT or non-VAT registered suppliers. Illustration 1, on January, ABC Company purchased in cash from RRC, which is a VAT registered company, goods amounting to 70,000 pesos VAT exclusive. On February 2020, ABC Company became liable for VAT, so the goods were sold in February on account for 112,000 VAT inclusive. To determine the transitional input VAT, we need to get the 12% of the 70,000, which is 8,400, and for the inventory beginning, that's 2% of the 70,000, that's 1,400. So we need to select whichever is higher between actual input tax and the 2% of beginning inventory. It is clearly shown above that our actual input tax is higher, and so our transitional input VAT would be 8,400. Our illustration to Mr. Harass opted to be registered as a VAT taxpayer, so he had the following inventory. VAT exempt goods for 80,000, battable goods for 40,000, equipment for 112,000, so total of beginning inventory would be 232,000 pesos. To get the transitional input VAT, we need to have a 2% of beginning inventory, which is 40,000 times 2%, that's 800 pesos, and our actual VAT in beginning inventory is zero. So clearly shown that our transitional input VAT is 800 pesos. To remember that, agricultural and marine food products that are in their original state are exempt from VAT. And VAT-exempt goods are not subject to output VAT when sold, hence, there would be no basis to claim transitional input VAT in them. Lastly, it is claimable in the month of registration as a VAT taxpayer. And that's the end of my presentation. Thanks for watching.